Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanna share with you some of my favorite home purchases that I made on Amazon. To start out with, I wanna share something that I bought. I bought a set of these lights. There are two of these. This is called an LED closet light. You know, you don't need to just use it for a closet. I'll tell you guys what I used it for. So here's one right here, and it is a motion detector light, and it's LED. The reason I bought this is because the area going down the stairs on my house, I had a light fixture way, way, way up high, and I had a contractor here doing other work. He tried changing out the light bulb because it was dead, and it's just like pitch black going down the stairs, and he wasn't able to replace it. We just couldn't do it. There was just some, some issue and which is fine because I don't wanna be responsible for changing out that light so high up. It was so, so dangerous when he was trying to do it. So instead, I was trying to think of some other solution and I ended up buying this, which like I said, it came in a set of two. It comes with a magnetic strip like this on the back. Now, I noticed in the reviews that a lot of people recommended purchasing magnetic strips separately, so I ended up buying this to get something hopefully stronger, so it'll be longer lasting, and this is a 3M strong adhesive backing. There's 12 feet of magnetic tape, and it's one inch wide, so it's perfect for this, so you just cut it and apply it, so I did that, and then you need to clean the area of the wall you're gonna put this on and put the other strip there, so you can just put it on. And what I've noticed is this works surprisingly well. I mean, I can just open the door and I'm not even to the stairwell to this area. And I put these along the railing, like underneath the railing area. So I just have two of them, one down um, near the bottom of the stairs and one near the top. And like I said, I can just open my door and I'm barely even out the door and barely in view of this. And it turns on and it's really, really bright, just lights up the whole area. I've noticed also that um, the battery is very long lasting and all you need to do is you pull this off and then you plug it in. So it came with a little USB cord. I think it also came with some type of remote or something, but I've probably lost it or I just set it down somewhere because I don't need that. I just have it set properly and just leave it there. And so this is like a really, really great purchase. Just be careful that you've cleaned the wall properly because this one in particular fell off and as you can see, this magnetic strip is really dirty. It's because I didn't clean the wall well enough or I didn't put it in a good enough area. So I need to put some more of the magnetic tape up and get this back up there. And this is a little blink camera. And um, I think I ended up initially purchasing this because sometimes I leave place, like my son and I might go visit family or go on vacation, whatever it is, and I wanna keep an eye on my cats. So that was my initial reason, but I've used it for other things now. Recently, we had a situation where we had a deer that was injured and that we were trying to keep an eye on and trying to help. I ended up putting this and like duct taping it on my window so that it was aiming outside so that I could keep an eye on the deer. Now there's an app that comes with this and this is a motion detector camera. This is really great for how cheap it is. When I got this, it was $20. And in the past, many, many years ago, I had a security camera because I lived in kind of a really dodgy area. It's two security cameras and the whole setup, and it was just like hundreds of dollars. This is $20 and it does the same things that the few hundred dollar thing did. And the quality is actually better, surprisingly. So I set this up and it would detect motion and so i didn't have to get up constantly i was so worried about this deer you guys it was i'll just tell you how badly injured it was oh my gosh i'm not sure what happened or how this could have happened and we thought maybe he was in a trap or something but his back leg was hanging on hanging off hanging on by barely anything and this was the most beautiful most gorgeous sweetest deer i've ever seen in my life my son got the most gorgeous photos of him before he was injured. And I feel so, so, so terrible that um, I couldn't help him. I tried everything that I could, and this was part of my arsenal of things I was doing. But I mean, I contacted vets, I contacted a life um, livestock vet who normally goes to people's farms. They just would not help me to do anything. I wanted to get the deer tranquilized and have them cut off that leg because it was just hanging there so that he wouldn't have an infection and die and then give him antibiotics. This was my dream world idea and I would have done anything to do it. I would have paid them under the table, just paid them whatever just to do it and nobody would help me. 
and I couldn't find the deer at some point. And so we were trying to keep an eye on him and I'm pretty sure he's gone now. So it was really sad. You guys do not understand how much I tried everything to keep an eye on this deer. So I'll try to get back on topic about this camera. This was set up and the app would notify me when there was motion and then I could just look at it instead of, I was freaking out for a little while and I was like getting up constantly to when it had been a while since I had seen him. So I was really trying to keep an eye out. And so this worked. The cool thing is with these blink devices, they sell a bunch of different ones. They do sell outdoor ones that work well in, you know, when it's dark out. For me, I just, this helped me at the time. So this is great. It has different uses. I like to use it when I leave and go places. And I would like to purchase the ones for outside. So I'm gonna do that next. Now this is gonna seem weird, but this, these are some items that I bought for my kitchen and I've had these for ages. So I've been using these for a long time. I'm not even sure what they're called, like produce bags that are reusable. There's so many uses for these things. Um, I found it to be very multifunctional. In the past, when I first got these, I would put the produce in here. And I actually like that, it's very organized in my refrigerator. Now the other thing that I've used this for is when I'm washing my clothes, if I'm washing something that's fragile or even like a bra, I'll put it in here and then I'll throw it in. Works great. Now the other thing that I use this for is sometimes I'll make broth. I will take this and I'll put it in a big huge mason jar and this it'll be like this and then I'll pour the broth in here and I'll use this as a filter and it works beautifully and then I'll wash it in my washing machine like with my clothes. And so these have been super, super useful. Comes in a big pack like this. You could probably think of other uses for it, but for me, it's like been useful for multiple things. So since we're talking about kitchen items, I'm gonna mention this. I've also purchased these metal straws and the reason for it might not be what you think. So it came with a, um, you know, a pack of straws. Some of them are straight and some of them are curved. And then it came with a couple of cleaners, which is really great. They're super tiny and cute. And I've been using these because um, anytime I make this drink that I have, which I do every day, my cat steals my straw. He loves plastic straws. So he steals them, he bites it, he chews it, and that's just gross. So these straws have been really useful. I like it a lot. The next item I wanna share with you is, could be useful if you take a lot of supplements or medicine. Hopefully you don't have to take a lot of medicine, but you never know. I've had this for years. They're magnetic. They're just very large pill container organizers or whatever. And I just like how spacious they are. So I don't have any issues. I don't need to use those ugly colorful ones from the dollar store. I like this a lot. And like I said, it's magnetic. Some of them might not be as strong because I've had this for so long. Yeah, this one's missing it. But otherwise, I really like this. I like how it looks. It ends up, I just keep it in a drawer and I just take the right one out for the day and that's it. So I find it very convenient. Next, I wanna share something that I purchased a while, a long while ago right here. And this I purchased with the purpose of using it to clean my cast iron pan. So it does an amazing job of getting the, the gunk off of your cast iron pan. When I'm done using it, sometimes it can be like pretty greasy and grimy and I just put it in the dishwasher. It washes, comes out clean and it's great again. Now recently I ended up uh, switching over and purchasing a bunch of stainless steel pots and pans. And with one of them, it ends up getting these particles or these things stuck on it. and a normal sponge just is not working to get it off. I was concerned about trying to use this because I thought I would scratch it, but it doesn't scratch it at all. It gets every little bit off and it works amazingly well. I feel like it works better on stainless steel than on the cast iron and it works way, way better than any sponge or scrubber, or anything else that I have. So this is like one of the best purchases ever, as weird as it sounds. For other home items that I'm loving, I'm gonna share some pillows and pillowcases that I've purchased over the last year. So I have these two that I'm showing you right here and I have more I'll show you some clips of. These were from two different sellers on Amazon. This one doesn't look as nice because the pillow insert is too small and I need to purchase some. I bought this pillow insert set, there's a set of four, 
from Amazon, so it's nice and fluffy. I got really lucky, I got a really good one. And the pillowcases from both of these brands are very, very high quality. They're just different styles. I really love how it feels. Like I'm kind of a weirdo where I need stuff to be like soft and fluffy. It just needs stuff that's like soft everywhere. So this is like insanely soft. It feels like velvet. This is like soft and cozy, not velvet. It's kind of looks like corduroy, but it's just very nice. So I love it. Both of these pillowcases come in a variety of sizes and just tons of color options. So you can kind of just change things up a lot. So next I wanna share with you some items and I'm gonna to try to go through it pretty quickly. Some items that have changed my life when it comes to organizing my brain and stuff that I'm doing for work and getting it out of my brain and onto something else that makes sense. So in the past, I've had issues where I have sticky notes everywhere and then I end up throwing a bunch of them out and keeping a pile of them in my drawer. Have any of you guys done that? And then you're looking through these weird old piles of sticky notes and it's just so chaotic to me and doesn't make a lot of sense. And I also used to purchase like tons of notebooks and then write in them randomly in random ones and they're just everywhere and I don't know what I'm doing with my life because I never go back to read it. So I end up probably just throwing the notebook out eventually or saving it and becoming like a hoarder. So to avoid all of that, I've come up with a method that is working really well for me. So right here, I discovered this probably a year ago. This is the Rocketbook Fusion. This is an erasable notebook and you need to use certain types of pens or markers with it, which I have right here. And so when I'm in a work meeting, usually, I don't do this all the time, so I either use this or I have a Google Doc where I am just putting my ongoing to-do list, like anything that I need out of my brain and somewhere else so that I can see it all in one place. Most likely I will put it, you know, in the Google Doc, but I also write a lot of stuff down as well during the meeting. So it's up to you whether you use a doc like that or you use a notebook or use both. Either way, it will work. So sometimes I'm in into writing it all on here. So during uh, a meeting, I'm writing down all my notes. Then at the end of the week or when this whole book is full, this is, it'll tell you like how unimportant most of your notes are when you wait until this whole thing is full. So let's say the whole thing is full then I go through page by page, as annoying as it gets sometimes, and I will look at it and see if there's anything important. If there is anything like vitally important, I can then put it on my to-do list on that document, if it is a to-do item. If it's something else, it's just a piece of information that I need to know, or um, like a step-by-step -step thing that I need to remember how to do something as it relates to work or a hobby, like let's say, I'm writing down some specific settings for a computer program or for a particular type of photography method that I'm going for, then I'm gonna find that to be pretty important and I want to remember it. I'm going to, before I erase this page, I have another notebook. This is like my master key notebook where I'm going to put my most important pieces of information. And if it's gonna take a long time to fill this notebook up with things. So you're just putting things that you really want to remember forever, basically. I know you're probably not going to want that forever, but you feel like you will. At least you're going to want it over the next, who knows, like five years or something. So you put it in here. If it bothers you that there's just random stuff in here, you can also put some um, tabs in it. When I'm going through here, I'll just show you how it erases because it's pretty awesome. I've discovered that like 98% of what I've written down isn't important enough to keep. So that's why I'm erasing it. So I'm erasing it. And then let's say that you're not super reliant on the Google Doc method. Like I said, I like to use both. And you like to have stuff in front of you. I bought this Quartet glass dry erase thing and it fits beautifully in front of, a, um, in front of your computer monitor, hopefully. I mean, it does for me. And like I said, it's glass and here you can put your either dry erase markers or these that I have are wet erase markers, which when I was growing up, teachers used to use this uh, with projectors and those transparencies that they used. And so I like to use these because otherwise I'll accidentally touch it or my cat will walk on it. And if I use just a normal dry erase, it comes off. So I will put like my ongoing to-do list and 
just different categories of things that I must remember like for that week. And then next to each item underneath it, I'll have a checkbox and I will check it off as I go through. And it really does make me feel better when I see all these things checked off and then I can just erase it and then move on and make sure that I've done everything. It really, really helps my brain and may help yours to get everything out of your brain that you're thinking about, even if you don't realize you're thinking about these things so much and putting it down somewhere else. So I have found that the Google Doc has helped me a lot with that, but this does as well when you have stuff that's more immediate. So I really like using that. The very last thing I wanna share with you, which is something that makes me very lazy, but has made my life easier in some ways, are these plugs that I've purchased. Okay, so what I'm referring to are the GE Smart Plugs. I don't use these plugs with Alexa, but I do use it with their app, with their Sync app, it's like CYNC. The reason I've been using these plugs is because, um, for example, I have a plug in the room here and sometimes I want to turn things on before I get in the room. So let's say I want to turn on uh, a heater in the room, which is um, like a, an electric fireplace heater that I have. I want to heat up the room before I get down here. So I will turn it on through the plug. I've just found these to be very useful. And if you are someone who uses Alexa devices, which I used to use, then you can use that to say like, Alexa, turn on my light or whatever. I've just never done it before, so I haven't tried that. That's it for my favorite home-related items. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if there's anything you want me to do a video on, please let me know. Take care.